This Mule's Golf Video Update is brought to you by Country Kitchen, Highway 13 and 50 in Warrensburg. The whirlwind run into postseason tournaments for Mules Golf started in late April at the 2016 MIAA Championship. It is springtime in Missouri, so unpredictable weather is basically something you can predict. Across the three days of the league tournament at Tiffany Greens in Kansas City, the Mules and all the other teams saw good golf conditions, bad golf conditions, and everything in between. Day one was especially bad, cold and rainy, and after the first round, UCM sat in fourth place, but only five shots off the lead. You know, I've always told the story about Tom Watson. He always used to say he loved the bad weather because he felt like it eliminated half the field because half the field doesn't want to be playing and that kind of stuff. So, you know, you try to encourage him that, you know, if you can just hang in there and, and battle through it, that, you know, a lot, a lot of players can't do that. Day two was a 19 stroke improvement for the Mules, bumping UCM up into second place but the other teams improved too, and the day three score just wasn't enough to put the Mules in the lead. Central Missouri finished third at the MIAA championship, one stroke off second place and 10 back from first. Teddy Jones finished in fourth at three over par for the Mules. Alex Springer was ninth, Travis Mays 19th, Cole Dillon 24th, and Shane Allen 27th. That pushed the Mules down to second in the conference standings, so Central Oklahoma won both the MIAA regular season and postseason championships. Central Oklahoma played an unbelievable round. I mean, eight under par on that golf course uh, under those conditions was was really good. You know, nothing nothing you can do to control the other team. You just got to go out and play your game, which, you know, we shot even par. I, I if you had asked me going in, you know, what would be a good score, I would have said even is great. Uh, Central Oklahoma just played unbelievable, you know, an outstanding round for them. The postseason tournament award presentation brought smiles to the Mules' faces, though. Jones, Springer, and Mays were announced as all MIAA selections, with Jones earning the League Player of the Year honor. It's an accomplishment, but uh, it really doesn't mean much to me with the fact that we lost the conference championship and, and just the year of conference. Uh, that's aggravating. I really wanted to win that. So um, it's not about an individual when you're playing for a team. Sure, it's just another accommodation, but it doesn't it doesn't really mean anything. You know, it's just it's just points. Moving on to the NCAA postseason would be a perfect time for any team to peak. But heading into the Super Regional Tournament, Jones says the Mules were frustrated from the MIAA match and were planning on using that for motivation. UCM went in as the top seed, but the golfers weren't going to let that affect anything. Rankings is rankings. This is a qualifier. That's all it is. It's not it's not really a tournament. It's just a qualifier. Just get through three days be in the top five. Yeah, sure, winning would be nice and beating every team. I'd like to beat UCO, that's important to me. If we finish second as a team, we finish fifth as a team, it really doesn't matter to me because we're going to nationals and that's the most important part. Turning that disappointment into redemption worked. Mules Golf took the trophy at the Central and Midwest Super Regional by one stroke. UCM faced tough conditions again at the Meadows Golf Club in Allendale, Michigan and finished 48 over par. Springer paced the Mules with a fifth place individual finish. Mays was ninth, Jones 25th, Allen 32nd, and Dylan 68th. That's what I've been so proud of is, is the five guys that we've gone with over the years uh, for a long stretch now has, has put team first and they've seen the, the rewards that happen when you do that. Over the entire season, Mules Golf finished first at four of the nine regular season tournaments and never finished outside the top six. Jones picked up individual wins twice, Springer had one too, and he's a finalist for the Jack Nicklaus Award for the National Player of the Year. Plus, the season isn't over. The regional win puts Mules Golf in the 2016 NCAA Division II Championship at Green Valley Ranch Golf Club in Denver. Reporting for UCMAthletics.com, I'm Katie Smith. This Mules Golf Video Update is brought to you by Country Kitchen, Highway 13 and 50 in Warrensburg.